Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Makesh's Tech Space. In this fourth video of WordPress tips, I will show you how to connect uh, an SMTP server to your WordPress website uh, using your custom domain name. Uh, in the previous video, we did the same activity. However, we used Gmail's SMTP connection. In this video, we'll set up an SMTP relay connection using your own domain name. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. Well, if you haven't already, go ahead and install the WP Mail SMTP plugin for WordPress. Um, you'll just basically go into plugins, add new, and then search for WP SMTP in the uh, search box and one of the first results if it's not the first one it should be but if it's not uh, look for the WP mail SMTP by WP forms uh, plugin go ahead and uh, install that activate it and you should have a menu item here to go into the settings for the plugin um, down here we will pick in this uh, example or in this video um, we'll set up send in blue for with WP Mail SMTP plugin, um, what I found is if, uh, you know in the free tier, Send in Blue offers the maximum amount of benefit in the sense that uh, Send in Blue allows you to send up to 300 emails per day from your WordPress website, um, whereas uh, Peppy Post, Mailgun, SendGrid, and then there's another one called MailJet. All of them uh, limit you to either 100 per day or 200 per day. Um, and then I think Mailgun does not even have a free option. I think they have a trial for three months and then you have to convert. And all of these do have paid options as well. So as your user base increases or as your email um, uh, requirement increases, then you can move up to one of the paid tiers for this service. Before we get into the the uh, step by step, um, wanted to mention or clarify something that if you already have a mail server uh, for your custom domain, let's say, you know, you, you know, I have a domain here, Mukesh Digital. So let's say I already have an email service uh, through GoDaddy or um, or Gmail, you know, the G Suite, uh, or, or any, any uh, uh, email hosting service. If I already have it, I still could use this. We will authenticate any emails that are going out of, the, out of uh, our website. And so they're more likely to land in your customer's um, inbox versus going into a spam folder or some mail servers may even block your account. Uh, so that's one of the advantages. Second is you don't necessarily have to have a valid or a um, uh, an active email box uh, for the website. So for example, you could use something like no reply at mukesh.digital or your custom domain.com. You could just uh, set this up using a service like Send in Blue, and all the emails that are going out of your website would be no reply at your custom domain.com. So, those are some advantages. Of course, you know, um, it's always good to. Uh, you know, customize your domain, uh, any emails that are going out from your website, customize them so that you can carry forward the professional look of your website. So I uh, just wanted to give that bit of explanation. So let's go ahead and get started with the setup. So you'll head over to the Send in Blue website and you'll sign up for an account there. And there's, it's a free account. You sign up, you confirm via email. Once you do, you should come to a dashboard similar to this. So we will go into senders and IP, then head on over to the domain tab and then click on add new domain. And here we will type our domain, mukesh.digital in my example here. And then I would like to use this domain to digitally sign my email. So this is also important and just additional additional security or a layer to help mail servers on the receiving end know that your email and your domain is authenticated and it's valid and it's not something that's spam. 
So click on save. A pop-up that comes up will be very important. So don't click out of this just yet. What we will now do is head, head on over to our uh, DNS um, service. Uh, in our case, in, in the examples that I've been using here, it's been AWS LightCell as our DNS zone record. Uh, in your case, it could be your registrar or anywhere where you host your DNS zone record. Go to, I'll go to my LightCell dashboard, click on networking, and then click on this one, which is the DNS zone for Mukesh.digital and we will start adding the entries that they recommend or they explain here. So the first one is a TXT record for the DKIM or DKIM record. So we will copy this portion right here. Make sure you don't copy the dot Mukesh dot digital. You don't want to copy the domain name, only the, um, the, uh, the key or the text before the dot. So copy that add a record and you'll select txt record paste the uh, information that you copied and notice the reason i uh, did not copy the dot makesh dot digital is because at least in light cells case um, they already uh, automatically just have that as a as a uh, static item so you don't need to provide that over and over again your dns zone provider may require you to copy the entire thing so in that case you do but Let's go back to send in blue and now we will copy the text that's inside here. Make sure you copy everything and if there's a space at the end, we don't want the space. So just copy this, come back to your DNS zone record and then paste it and then hit uh, save or OK or, or whatever uh, uh, would be in your case for your interface. Then we'll head on to the next item. Again, this is another TXT record. And then we'll copy, in this case, they do not have anything in front of my domain. So it will be, in our case, an at sign. So copy this, come here to your DNS record, add TXT. In LightCell's DNS uh, interface, we, if we do not have a domain name in front of it, they explain to enter at point or at symbol. Again, it may be different for your DNS zone provider. So look up uh, the documentation on that for the value. We'll paste the um, value text that we copied from the send in blue screen. Now, if you already have email hosting, by another provider they may have already walked you through or set an spf record for you um, and if this entry is already in your dns zone then you may want to ask them um, how to add an additional entry there's a way to add multiple domains um, to the same spf record so so go ahead and hit okay there then the Third item will again be no uh, subdomain, but then we'll copy this information and we'll add the record. Again, it will be a TXT record. In my case, an at, at sign, send in blue. And then the final one, this is a DMARC record. And then we'll copy the value here for the subdomain, another TXT record, paste this. And finally, it says a valid subdomain is required. Oh, I copied the period. And we are set. Um, now, as with any DNS changes, the propagation may take uh, 24 to 48 hours. Usually it's within a few minutes. It may take up to 24 hours. It may take a few hours. It may take a few minutes. So it just depends. The good thing is Send in Blue, Send in Blue has uh, buttons here for you to check and see if it's done. So we'll go ahead and test the first one since that's the first one we added. And there you go, configured. And then we'll test the second one, configured. Third one and last one. Fourth one. All right, they're all configured. That means uh, you know AWS LightCell was pretty fast to getting those changes uh, propagated uh, really quick. 
So hit I'm done. For that, head on over to SMTP and API. We'll copy version three API key. Copy that. Head on over to your uh, plugin settings uh, page and then paste the API key there and then hit save. Okay, so now we'll configure an email address to be used as the sending email address. So we'll go back into send in blue under senders and IPs. The first tab is senders. We can click on add a new sender and we can say in our example I was using earlier, we can say no reply. We'll just say website, no reply. Email can be no reply at Mukesh.digital. Hit save. And since we verified our entire domain um, uh, within Send in Blue, they don't need any additional verification to set up as many senders as you want, similar to this. Use that no reply at Mukesh.digital. Enforce this. The from name, you can use your website name, or we could just say what I put in the other way. Website, no reply. Force that as well. And then set the return path and hit save. Test email. So we can send it to and go ahead and send. And that really is it uh, in terms of setting up your own domain for use, uh, sending emails through your WordPress uh, website using an SMTP relay connection such as Send in Blue. If you run into any issues or have any questions on some of these steps, go ahead and comment down below. Like this video if you found it useful. And uh, until next time, take care.